watch mode and today we're talking about a man who has almost three million Twitter followers a talk show a game show and a radio show not to mention a wife and seven kids all that keeps Steve Harvey very busy but he still takes time to give back When you think about the Dreamers Academy, did you think you were going to see eight years of participation with you? Well, I don't know. I could say I saw eight years. Mm -hmm. I didn't. I didn't know how long it was going to keep letting me come back. <laughs> <laughs> Make your dream so big that not achieving that dream is unacceptable. This has been uh, probably uh, one of the more rewarding programs, though. You know, because you come through here, you see these hundred kids come every year. You see the looks on their faces. You realize that a lot of people down here are committed to changing these kids' lives. What I loved about this weekend is that you guys really open up. The dreamers tell their stories. And we, the mentors, become one-on-one -on -one with you. I finally found a career path. I'm trying, I took all the general stuff and made it into something that I really want to stick to and that I'm really passionate about. You've always known how to reinvent yourself. How important is it, especially in this business, in this industry, to be able to reinvent yourself? Yeah, I knew when I was in L.A. I wasn't going to be a good actor. I already knew that. I said, okay, let me get out of here. You got Will Smith out here, Martin mm -hmm. Lawrence. You got Denzel. You got Samuel L. Jackson. Mm -hmm. How many 50-year-old black dudes they going to pick? They ain't gonna pick me. If they got a role for a 50-year-old black dude, they gonna give it to Denzel. <laughs> so let me get the hell on out of here and get a radio show. Uh -huh. <laughs> Something a burglar would not want to see when he breaks into a house. Rob. Naked grandma! Naked, huh? <laughs> I'm gonna be you right now, okay. and I want to get the trust survey in top three. Top three things that Steve Harvey absolutely has to have when he travels. Number three. A private jet. <laughs> I'm sorry. Show have changed, Steve. You yeah. show sure have changed. Yeah. Number two. Uh, liquid flavored stevia. Stevia comes in liquid forms in different flavors. It makes your coffee taste delicious. Number one. And the sexiest woman in the world named Marjorie. Aww, yeah, that's I what it. I need, man. <laughs> <laughs> Disney will be taking applications for the Dreamers class of 2016 soon. Go to DisneyDreamersAcademy.com for more information. Yes. Roxy, you used to work with Steve Harvey, right? I did. I uh, worked at the radio station at 97.9 The Beat at Dallas, Texas. And uh, he started his morning show. He was starting his morning show there. And I was there being the gopher, whatever he needed, coffee, cookies. You name it, I was running errands for Steve Harvey. We got, we got to be the gopher sometime, right? You got to pay your dues, Roxy. Totally. Totally. Yeah, totally. yeah. I sure did. Yeah, you learn a lot. Roxy Diaz, <laughs> thanks, son. Thanks, Diaz.